Hi, it's time for another math easy solution. Uh, to discuss uh, further into the polynomial remainder theorem, which I went over the proof in one of my earlier videos. But now I'm going to go over another proof, and that's going to be in a more elementary uh, proof that uses that yeah, basically uses just basic techniques. Uh, just to recap, yeah, to recap first from my earlier video on Euclidean division for polynomials that for two univariant or just one variable polynomials a and b where it's not equal to zero as a polynomial. Yeah, there exist two unique polynomials q and r such that we had a equals to b. Uh, bq plus r and the degree of r or the highest power of r again you can make sure to watch my earlier videos on Euclidean division for polynomials yeah so the degree of r here is less than a degree of b in this case like that and also yeah, also in case if we had uh, b the degree of b is zero we have well the case where the remainder is zero the degree of such a case like this put us in bracket We'll just define this as less than zero. So, or this case like that. Yeah, so degree of r is less than degree of b, but if r is zero, we'll just make that less than zero in case uh, the degree of b is zero. And now, also recall from my earlier video on the polynomial remainder theorem and the proof that simply used the Euclidean division theorem. So we go from here on Wikipedia, polynomial remainder theorem in algebra. The polynomial remainder theorem or little Bayes-Zutz theorem is an application of Euclidean division of polynomials. It states that the remainder of the division of a polynomial f of x by a linear polynomial x minus a is equal to f of a. In other words, that is the remainder. So, yeah, so basically to recap here, from my earlier video, I went over this part. Uh, we have f of x like this divided by x minus a. This would equal to, yeah, it would equal to, well, an answer here, quotient q of x and plus a remainder, which is gonna be f of a divided by x minus a. So fraction of that like this, and that is our r of x. In other words, if we were to put this, yeah, just to solve in my, yeah, just to uh, quickly solve from uh, my earlier video how I proved it, and uh, basically if we had in Euclidean division, what we'll do now instead of writing a, I'll use f, f of x, so we have f of x like this equals to, um, this is going to be b, q plus r, but in this case the b will be our x minus a, so we have Yes, I'll put b equals to x minus a is our divisor. f of x equals to x minus a q plus r. And, and then the, this is the proof of simply just plugging in into here. f of a here, which is going to be a minus a q plus r. In other words, a minus a cancels. This goes to zero like that. So we get equals to r. Yes, so then we have f of a equals to r, which equals to the remainder right here and there it is and yeah and uh, this one here you could even uh, rearrange this like this is divided by x minus a on both sides we just get our f of x over x minus a plus q I'm mean, no, equals to q and then plus r over x minus a and that's just this part right here exactly the same thing as a division there so that's just to quickly recap yeah, to quickly recap, that's the symbol proof I went in my earlier video and I also went over some examples, uh, an extensive analysis of it. It's to make sure to watch that nonetheless. And also in particular, x minus a is a divisor of f of x if and only if f of a is equal to zero. In other words, the remainder is equal to zero. That means you could divide perfectly in it. So now let's look at another uh, proof of this. And still from that same Wikipedia, uh, page now another proof we could do is as follows from Wikipedia a slightly different proof which can which may appear to some people as more elementary starts with an observation that f of x minus f of a is a linear combination of the terms of the form x power of uh, k minus a to the power of k yeah each of which is divisible by x minus a since as I showed in my earlier video this is uh, yeah this is from my earlier video that I proved this x minus a 
Yeah, or x to the power of k minus a to the power of k equals x minus a times x to the k minus 1 plus k minus 2a. And then the a's keep getting bigger and bigger. And then as the x ones, we keep subtracting and until it's over here, which is, well, this is x to the 0, this is x to the 1. And over here, we had an a to the 0. And then we have a to the 1 as well like that. And uh, by more elementary, what this is, is just a uh, mathematical jargon. So in mathematics, an elementary proof is a mathematical proof that uses only basic techniques. While the meaning has not always been uh, de defined precisely, the term is commonly used in mathematical jargon. And an elementary proof is not necessarily simple in the sense of being easy to understand. Some elementary proofs can be quite complicated. So yeah, this proof is uh, yeah, can, can be considered, I guess, more elementary because it just uses this kind of linear combination uh, instead of the Euclidean division theorem. So let's write this out. So yeah, let's just uh, quickly see how this proof is. And the way to do it is, let's just look at it here. So we'll write proof right here. And so what we'll do is we'll notice, what well, all it does is it says that fx minus fa, notice that it's a linear combination of that. To notice that, well, we know that fx is a polynomial, a univariant. This is going to be equal to, I'll just write this as c0 constant, and then times x to the power of 0, plus c1, x1, plus c2, x2, and then plus keeps going on and on, all the way to, let's go to a k, c, k constant, x to the power of k, like that. And now, when we plug in a in here, well, we get f of a. It's just like we just plug this into this just generic polynomial. Is this going to be equal to now z, uh, c zero a to the power of zero plus c one x? I mean, x is going to be a now a to the power of one plus c two a to the power of two plus going on and on c k a to the power of k. Yeah. So now that we have this, notice what we can do now. If we subtract. So f of x, I'll put a uh, line like this, minus f of a. This is going to equal to, well, if we look at this, uh, if we subtract uh, this one from this, and we could just factor out the c0, or the yeah, this constant like that. And then we'll have an x0 uh, zero minus a0. Zero. Yeah, we have it like this. And also for this one, we could factor that out c1. Now we have an x1 minus a1. Factor this uh, next one out. Yeah, this is going to be again. This is the C2 now. C2 and then x2 minus uh, a to the power of 2. And then keeps going on and on. Let's write it over here dot 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 plus all the way over to C k. Factor that out. We get x to the k minus a to the k like that. So now that we have this, also what I'm going to do is now recall. Yeah, recall from my earlier video on polynomial long division and the proof that, uh, in fact, this is a factor. So then this x minus a is a factor of this x to the k minus a to the k. In other words, we could factor it out or you could divide it cleanly inside. So recall from my earlier video that if we had, I will write i instead of k, uh, x to the power of i minus a to the power of i like this. This just equals to x to the a, and then we have it like this, we have x, and then one power less, i minus 1, plus, and then we have x, i minus 2, and then we could just plug, plug it out. Let's put the a in front, actually. Put the constant in front, a to the power of 1. Initially, here is a to the power of 0 there, plus, and the next one, a to 2, x, let's remove this one, uh, i minus 3. And uh, yeah, this keeps going on and on until we finally have an a. And then this is going to be i minus 2. And then we have x, just x to the power of 1, plus where then we have x to the power of 0, which is just 1, a i minus 1, like that. So until we get all the way up to here. So let's plug these inside. Yeah, well, we know right away that this is a factor. And each, so yeah, that basically means every one of these is a factor. And this one here is just 0, so you just remove that. This one's already a factor, so you just leave that. This one, we could write it in this way, remove it, so then we could divide that. So that's the proof there, but let's just write it in more concrete, or just easy to, to notice terms. So thus, f of, f of x minus f of a divided by x minus a, this equals to, well, this one's 0 there, so that just becomes 0, plus, I'm going to, yeah, so basically what I'm doing is dividing both sides 
by x minus a, like this. So I'm going to divide it out like that. And then this part here is going to be, well, let's just c1 x minus a, so we don't need to touch that. x minus a, that's already a factor of it. And then plus over here, c2. So this c2 is equal to, yeah, the c2, this x squared minus a squared, we just plug in this formula. So this equals to x minus a times it by then one power less, so x to the one, and then plus a, and then we have two powers less, that's just going to be zero, x zero, and this one's just going to be like that. So then that, that just stops, so this is just x plus a, and then keeps going on and on, and then until we all, all the way get to the last part, which is ck, yes, yeah, ck, and then the same thing, x uh, minus a, like that, and now for this special part, we have, uh, and I'll just put this dot, 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 just to get some room, put it down here, and then where, um, let's write it over here, c, k, yes, yeah, c, k, x to the k minus a, k equals to just c, k, x minus a, and then we have this all the way over here, which is going to be x to the k minus 1 plus a, x to the k minus 2, plus dot, 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 plus going all the way into finally a to the k minus uh, 2, and then x, and then plus a to the k minus 1, like that. So that's exactly the same thing here, just replace it, uh, i with k, like that. So we plug that inside, and I'll just put that in there, and I'll put this circle it like that. So then when we divide the x minus a inside all of this, these all cancel. These all cancel. Yeah, so then this cancels with all of this. So then that means it divides cleanly inside. In other words, we get a quotient. So I'll put this as uh, equaling to, well, I'll just put this over here. So thus, f of x minus f of a over x minus a equals to, well, quotient, like that. Yeah, it just equals to this giant polynomial there. Let's put this equals to q of x, like that. So equals to q of x. So in other words, it divides cleanly inside. Now if you just mo multiply this out over there, what we end up getting is a, move that over, so we get f of x, like this. We get f of x equals to q x and this is going to be x minus a, yeah, x minus a, like that. And then move this over to this side. Once we move it, this is going to be plus f of a. <laughs> there we have it. In other words, we have f of x equals to q of x times x minus a plus f of a, where this is just a remainder. So that's just f of a. So this is equal to r of x equals a uh, remainder. So that is equal to it, all right. R equals to f of a, which equals to the remainder, and there is our proof, like that. So it's more elementary, except it's a bit more complicated, but then, again, uh, with the other one, we just had to, we just used the Euclidean division for polynomials, which I derived in my earlier video. So both of them are uh, pretty, uh, yeah, well, yeah, pretty complex, and uh, just, just more of an extensive algebra needed but yeah overall it's pretty uh, straightforward when you get uh, when you understand it so yeah that is all for today so notice how yeah that's just the remainder that's a polynomial remainder theorem when divided by x minus a the remainder is just f of a like that. anyways that is all for if you follow along this pretty interesting proof and uh, yeah like always you can download these exact notes in the link below as well as viewing these notes on steam it and make sure to check out my math uh, forums on Reddit and vote and uh, yeah post any cool math or science related stuff you find anyways it's all for today thanks for watching and stay tuned for another math easy solution